One of the new features of Microsoft Excel 2007 is the ability to insert pivot tables very easily. Let's look at a sales data spreadsheet and examine creating some pivot tables for the information therein. Here we have a set of sales data. Here's a bunch of the information, so the dates, the sales amounts. And you can see that these happen kind of all across the nation. So what I'd like to do is create a pivot table of this information. I'm going to go to the Insert tab, so we look at the Insert ribbon, and click on Pivot Table. It's going to go ahead and select, so I've already identified that all this information is in a table called Table 3. And I'm going to create it in a new worksheet, so I click OK. Now I have all of the columns here as different fields, and I can go ahead and add. So let's say I'd like to take a look at the sales amount by the store ID. So let's go ahead and select store ID. You'll notice that store ID actually appears down here in this row label and over in my pivot table I get the list of store IDs that are available. And I'd like to select sale amount. You'll notice that sale amount actually came down here in the sum values. So I can either go ahead and sum up the information by the store ID um, or I can drag this into other columns if I would like to do something other than some. So right now we have by each individual store ID, so for instance the Bolt Center 4526 store, their sales amount was $33.19. Let's say that I'd like to look at the sales amount instead by category. So we'll go ahead and remove the store ID. So the sale, you can see how dynamically the sum of sale amount updates and now we have the total sum of all the sales over here. And we'd like to add in category. So it goes ahead and adds category to the row labels and now we have the data so it's separated by the specific category and what the sales were in that sales category. Let's look at one more organization. We'd like to now look at the sales amount by region. So I'm going to scroll down and click region. Oops, scroll down a little too far. Here we go, region. So I'll select region. So now we can see that the central sales were much higher than the west sales. Okay. As soon as I have a pivot table that I'm happy with, I'm going to go ahead and name this regional sales. <laughs> 